Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Airlines Quest, where we discuss the latest aviation news and updates. Today, we're going to delve into a brewing conflict between Emirates and Boeing over the delays in the 777X program. Emirates President Tim Clark recently expressed his frustration with Boeing over the constant delays in the development of the new 777X aircraft. Speaking at the IATA annual general meeting in Dubai, Clark demanded compensation from Boeing for these delays and insisted that the manufacturer should cover the costs of refurbishing Emirates' existing 777 fleet. Clark's statements were direct and unapologetic. We need our airplanes. We cannot face constant delays. We've got a business to run, and the bill for refurbishing all these airplanes should be put at Boeing's door, he said, as quoted by Reuters. The issue stems from the fact that Emirates has a massive order for 210-777X aircraft, including 17779, 35777-8, and 5777-200 freighter. However, the delivery dates for these aircraft remain uncertain, with Boeing recently stating that the first 777X is expected to be delivered in 2025, a staggering five years later than initially scheduled. Clark further expressed his frustration, claiming that the 777X test flight program has stalled as Boeing grapples with production quality issues related to the 737 MAX. He now expects Emirates' first 777X aircraft to arrive in the second quarter of 2026, a delay that is causing significant operational challenges for the airline. Emirates is already in the process of refurbishing the cabins of 191 aircraft, including 28 777, to bridge the gap until the new 777X aircraft arrive. However, Clark believes that Boeing should bear the costs of this refurbishment, as the delays are not of Emirates' making. The situation has escalated to the point where Emirates' chairman and CEO, Ahmed bin Saeed Al Maktoum, has also weighed in, telling Boeing to get its act together. While a Boeing spokesperson declined to comment directly on Clark's statements, the company has acknowledged the need to address systemic safety and quality control issues. In a recent meeting with the FAA, Boeing presented a plan to reset the safety culture within the company and implement a mandatory safety management system to identify and manage risks. The FAA has reviewed Boeing's roadmap and will continue to ensure that the proposed fixes are effective. However, the process is expected to take time, with Clark suggesting a five-year hiatus may be required before Boeing can meet production demands from new and existing customers. The conflict between Emirates and Boeing over the 777X delays highlights the significant challenges faced by both parties. Emirates' frustration is understandable as the delays have disrupted their operational plans and forced them to incur additional costs. On the other hand, Boeing is grappling with broader systemic issues that require comprehensive solutions to restore confidence in their products and processes. As this saga continues to unfold, it will be interesting to see how Boeing addresses the concerns raised by Emirates and other customers, and whether they can regain the trust and confidence of the aviation industry. Stay tuned for further updates on this developing story.